Hi, my name is Liu Siga from the Queen Square Institute of Neurology. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce the potential of the amygdala to predict the recurrence of depression. Depression is one of the most prevalent psychiatric disorders and confers a high disease burden to societies worldwide. And some people are lucky and are able to achieve remission with the help of antidepressant medication. However, stopping antidepressants is very risky, with many people experiencing a relapse after doing so. Uh, here you see data from meta-analysis in 2003. This meta-analysis examined the studies where uh, Participants were either continued on antidepressants or switched to placebo in a double bind test. You can see the risk of relapse is much higher in those who were randomized to placebo. On the other hand, one of the hallmarks of depression is negative affective bias, which means uh, depressed patients respond to negative emotions more than healthy people. And the amygdala is also known as a core of the brain's emotional processing system. So this study aims to answer the question whether an amygdala reactivity could predict relapse after antidepressant discontinuation. Let me briefly explain our study design. First of all, we collected a total of 162 patients in remission from antidepressants and healthy controls. We then scanned the bold signal of the uh, subjects using fMRI to investigate the functional activity of the amygdala. This timing is, is defined as the first time point, T1. Afterwards, the patients in remission were divided into two groups, those who continued taking antidepressants and those who stopped taking them. The antidepressant continued group was scanned after a fortnight and the, and the discontinued group was scanned again after each interruption period. The time point of this scan is defined as T2. After T2, both groups uh, went to a six-month follow-up period during which they were observed for relapse. During the MRI scan, a task called the Facial Emotion Task was used. The face task provides information about the brain activity that is expressed by the perception of the emotion shown by facial expressions. The task is frequently used in depression research to investigate emotional bias. Indeed, in the study, participants were presented with faces of fear, anger, and aversion, etc. And the response of the amygdala to negative emotions was investigated. The task was quite simple. Subjects had to choose the same face as one of the shown at the top of the screen from two, two faces shown at the bottom. I shall show you one of the main results. We performed the region of interest analysis on the amygdala part of the obtained border data. The graph provides the mean activity values of T1 and T2 of the discontinued and continued groups divided into patients who eventually relapsed and uh, who didn't. Statistical tests show that there is no dif significant difference in the activity of the amygdala in the non relapses regardless of whether the antidepressant was discontinued or continued. On the other hand, in the relapses, there was no significant difference between T1 and T2 in the discontinuation group and the relapse, relapse was confirmed during the follow-up period. In contrast, there was a significant difference in the discontinuation group. It was proposed the uh, increased activity of the amygdala due to discontinuation is a potential factor for relapse. In addition to this analysis, we performed the regression uh, with a linear mixed effects model as well. There was a three-way interaction of these three factors in the model that tested the combination of the patient's group uh, relapse status and time point. We then performed the post hoc analysis of the combination of the recurrence and the time point as well. Uh, as shown in the table below, we found an interaction between time point and the relapse. This, the results from this linear mixed model uh, supports the idea that increased activity, uh, amygdala activity due to discontinuation is a potential factor for relapse. In conclusion, this study provides evidence that abnormal high activity uh, due to the face task may be a predictor of relapse. Even though not all patients with relapse show uh, abnormal amygdala activity due to discontinuation of the antidepressant treatment, those who do may be significantly associated with relapse. If you have any comments or questions, please contact us. I really appreciate your attention.